Hey saints, targeted individuals, empowered individuals, children of the most high, I'm back. This is going to be really, really quick. Um, today is October 3rd, 2018, and the reason I'm coming on is for uh, to talk a little bit about the um, emergency test that was sent to our phones. This is a red alert. I believe that it is being sent out to all targeted individuals, all those that are a threat to the system. If you don't know, this is not being sent out, but set, sent out by our president. This is being sent out by FEMA, schema, lame, what a shame. And uh, this is what's interesting about this alert. It was supposed to go out at 218. It came on my phone at 118. Um, someone that's close to me, that's ex-NASA, did not get an alert. Neither did a couple other people that are not believers in Christ and they're not targeted. However, a couple of believers in Christ, this Karen, shout out to you from Sarah Forth Calling. Um, also, um, you know who you are, I can't say your name, but you're one of my, one of my awesome subscribers. And then another TI that I know, so that's three of us. And also um, Stephen Jackson from J JWTV has also talked about it. Um, I didn't personally talk to him. He just put up a video, and that's what's leading me to come out and confirm. They said 218, it would be, um, the alert would go out, and I was going to turn my phone off. It went out at 118 for me. And the person that was high up NASA for almost 40 years that I know personally did not get an alert, nor did someone close to him. Neither one of them are targeted. However, the targets got them an hour early. Here's the weirdest part about my phone. My phone was working perfectly fine. I had texted this Karen. Um, we had been texting a couple times and she's doing okay, y'all. The Lord has told her to, um, to just be close to him. She's in a lot of pain. I am too, but you know what? I overcome it by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He has been giving me strength and he will do the same for y'all. But I'm just feel led to come, come on and tell y'all this real quick that after um, I text a couple of text messages, my phone was perfectly fine. Um, after it had been turned off for a couple of days and then it came back on on its own, after the message, the uh, emergency message by supposedly our president, which it's not, it's FEMA schema, up to their old tricks again. Tricks are for kids, silly FEMA. Um, my phone went blank and would not come back on. Then it came back on and I thought, oh cool, I can call. I called, tried to call Sis in Christ. As soon as it starts ringing, the screen goes black again and I can hear the phone ringing. My, my friend did not pick up, but it wouldn't let me hang up because I couldn't see any buttons because the screen was completely blank. It is still blank. It will not come back on. So I believe that what they did was hack into our phone even worse. Most of us TIs, we already have our phones tracked. Everything's tracked with us, um, including laptops, you know, whatever it is, they track us. But they've done something else. And I believe this is a red alert that us who are highly targeted, that are going to be truly used by the Lord, we are God's army, God's elect, God's mounted patrol, regulators, mount up. We are being identified right now. That's why it came on an hour early for us at 118 and others. It's now for something in the afternoon. And they still, the NASA person and another person that I know, it's not a believer, still have not got anything on their phone. So y'all leave comments in the, um, in the comment section if you got a text, if y'all got a text, and if y'all know anybody that's not a believer or that's not targeted that didn't. Um, but basically, just let me know who got the text and who didn't, all right? And then what time y'all got the text. Okay, I'm also going to tell y'all that I'm still being shown martial law is about to go into effect. And the Lord also reminded me that I was shown this thing last year. I haven't had time to, because I want to get this out before they hack my computer again. Um, last year, 
actually, it could have been the end of 2016 or the beginning of 2017. But if y'all go, I, um, I've been on YouTube. It'll be two years, just in a couple more days on the 7th of October. I will have been on here for two years. It may have been like November or December of 2016 or the beginning of 2017. But I put a video out about it, about having a dream from the Lord. I knew it was from the Lord. And it was very vivid about Donald Trump. And he was holding a gold cell phone that had his face in it. And what it reminded me of was like one of those gold coins with, a, you know, one of the president's faces that are like commemorative collect collective coins. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time talking. Uh, I've been only being allowed to get about two hours of sleep a night for the last week. But praise the Lord, I have my joy and I have my peace. It can't take that, y'all. If we have accepted Jesus into our hearts and we're truly following Father, then they cannot steal that from us. Yes, we're going to get we're going to get knocked down, but we get up again. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I believe that this is part of that dream. What that dream meant. Gold uh, there's going to be the mo monetary system is going to be knocked down and we're not going to be able to get anything out of the bank. You haven't got anything out of the bank, then you need to get it out now. Um, and the gold, maybe that represents like streets of gold in heaven. I'm not sure on that yet. I just find it interesting that the dream I had with Donald Trump I think it was before he was elected. I'm not sure about that because it's been so long ago. It was at least a year and a half ago I had it. But it was very vivid and I knew it was from the Lord. And it was Donald Trump holding a gold cell phone with his picture engraved in it, in gold. So um, I just wanted to tell y'all. Um, also, there is uh, some hurricanes, uh, potential hurricanes out in the Gulf. Uh, high alert for us in Louisiana, um, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, and parts of Florida, basically the Gulf Coast. Interestingly enough, there's another one out in the Keys. There's another one out in the, uh, like, where Florence was. It could be Florence. And then there's one over by California, and that was what I've been sharing with you all over the past three, four months that the Lord has shown me, actually probably about six months, that we're going to be surrounded. The U.S. is Babylon, is going to be surrounded from four corners. I knew for sure one was going to be California. I knew for sure that one was going to be the East Coast, possibly up from, uh, from North Carolina up to, uh, up to New York, D.C. and all that. And then I felt strongly Florida and Texas, but I wasn't confirmed on that. But now I'm being shown that this is part of it. So just heads up on that. We're to not have any fear. The Lord will guide you. If we're not called up during the, these, um, these days of martial law and all this, we will be guided. We will be supernaturally protected and we will be guided to a safety place, just like the woman who was guided into the wilderness for... I think it was 1,280 days, something like that. This is off the cuff right now, so I didn't write, I didn't look this up. It's just I'm, I'm speaking this. But now let me see if there's anything else the Lord was, oh, uh, interestingly enough, the 218 that the phone was supposed to go off on, again, it went at 118 for me, um, rem reminded me of a movie with John Cusack. I didn't see it. But I saw the previews of it. If anybody knows the name of it, it just came out. And he's in an airport, hence symbolizing our departure saints. You know who you are. You heard me? Regulators, mount up. Um, symbolizing our departure. And John Cusack, the main guy in it, was not affected by the cell phone. But everybody else was holding their cell phone and screaming in pain. I believe they're doing something with that. But we who have been marked by the Lord, we're protected. The Lord is showing me that those who are in his army um, have already been marked. 
basically, time's up. Time's up on that. I believe that the angel is about to fly over. And if there, if you don't have God's mark on you, you're going to be in some trouble now. There is hope if you're listening to this and you haven't accepted Jesus. You still can. But you're more than likely going to have to go through the tribulation. If the three days of darkness come, you're to stay in your house and pray and seek the Lord. He will supernaturally light us. I believe it's light from within. We who are called, we know who we are, who are called by the Lord and God's army. We're basically fighting a spiritual battle on this earth. And we're fighting Satan's army, which is the army of this earth, which is run by the government and the military and the corrupt cops and all that. That's why most targeted individuals that don't know who you are, you are God's super soldiers for Christ. We are warriors for Christ. And you need to accept Jesus in, immediately, immediately. This is your protection and your way out of this matrix, okay? Um, the Lord had me look up. Um, oh, getting back to the movie, speaking of the movie that I was just uh, reminded of with John Cusack. Again, I didn't see it. But where they're attacked by their cell phones, that's because they didn't accept Jesus. And so basically, he is supernaturally protected from whatever chaos they're doing. And again, I find it funny that the TIs that I know all had their cell phones go off at 118 when it's supposed to be 218. And then a few, a couple non-believers, again, one that worked for the government for 40 years, didn't ever have a, any call at all. So there's something with that, y'all. Please tell me your thoughts on that. Um, 218, I looked up. It means not only in Strong's, it means I anoint. It also is an anti-cosmic Luciferian, um, Luciferianism from the Temple of the Black Light. And it's some Illuminati thing. I didn't have time to look up anything else on that, but it's pretty creepy that that's 218. Now I'm going to show you something else. Um, let me see. Basically, the Lord was showing me that we're sealed. We who are sealed, we're, it's, it's done. The Lord led me to depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. Okay, Psalm 6, 8. And the, this is for us TIs, uh, saints, God's army. The Lord hath heard my supplication and will receive my prayer. He's heard us, saints, TIs. He's heard our pain. He's heard our crying. He is answering. He's coming forth to carry us home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry us home. And y'all that know me, you know low means something to me. So I find that funny that that's actually in the movie. We're about to be anointed with God's superhuman, God's super powers, superhuman powers, okay? So get ready. A lot of us are feeling changes. We're having a lot of different pains and symptoms. Some of this is attacks from the enemy. Some of this is also because our DNA is changing into our regular angelic form. That's why they're, they're hovering us. Also, I wanted to give a quick shout out, a sis in Christ, a, a true targeted individual and blessing to me and other uh, targets, empowered individuals, persecuted individuals, um, just had an attack on Facebook. She was really upset about it. Uh, they changed all of her. I don't do Facebook, so I haven't looked at it, but they changed all of her pictures and her video and made her have reptilian eyes. She is not a reptilian. And I said, welcome to the club. It was within my five, fifth or sixth, maybe up to the 10th video that I put out. They changed my eyes to reptilian. I asked another sister in Christ. I was like, look at this. It looks like I have reptilian eyes. And she said, oh, yeah, she had that too. Also, Sis Karen from Sarah Forth Calling has had that. I think Dequita has also had the same thing. So that's what they'll do. And I told her, as I will tell anybody that's being mess with, with their, with, you know, their, whatever they say, their channel being changed, their words being changed, their text messages being changed, that those who are in the body of Christ that are truly called to your ministry are going to recognize that it's an attack from Satan. So we're not to have fear. 
And it also is weeding out the wheat from the tares. Who's really been anointed with God's, with God's eyes to see and ears to hear. And basically, y'all Satanists and witches, you need to repent before it's too late. And basically, I'm feeling you're going to have to go through the trib now. I didn't feel this until when I got up this morning. I thought there was still hope. Now I'm feeling that this is last call. Last call, and it ain't for alcohol. It's for you to accept Jesus. And sometimes this is what it takes. It'll take going through the tribulation for some of these people to wake up. But I'm believing that some, some lives will be saved during the trip. Okay? Um, I also wanted to say one more thing. To say, I wanted to say this to say that this is the New Orleans, it's a weekly um, newspaper that comes out. It's like a free paper. This I found interesting. Look at the title, Gambit. That's the name of the paper. A new stage. A new stage is set. Is that not amazing? So there's going to be new players on the stage. And I believe that that means that we who have accepted Jesus, are going to be called up, get our glorified bodies, come back down and follow, battle the fallen. And the stage is about to be destroyed on this earth by all these evil, elite, reptilians, whatever you want to call them. Freak us away! And uh, God, is, God is bringing his, his uh, temple on this earth, just like it says, um, thy kingdom come. It's coming, y'all. So just stay strong. Stay in prayer. Have no fear. That's what the enemy wants. He's putting fear. We're not to have any fear. All this is going to be a blessing, okay? So just stay strong. Stay faithful till the very end. And I wanted to give one more little uh, note to the Satanists and witches and the elite who sold out. Y'all sold your soul to Satan. And all you got was a lousy t-shirt. Two thumbs down for you. Okay, I love y'all. Stay strong. And again, let me know if any of y'all had, had your phone hacked or what happened with the alert. Do you know anybody that didn't get one? And what time did you get one? And did you have phone problems like me? My phone still hasn't come back on. Okay, I love y'all. And we're about out. <laughs>